now Claire's going to explain all about Kentwell Hall. I'm not. Claire. Hello. What you well, thank you for that. That was very interesting. <laughs> Now, in case, heaven forbid, you don't benefit from Claire and my extensive knowledge of the property, I'll just fill in a few blanks. The hall was built between 1500 and 1550 by the Clopton family. It's had numerous owners and tenants since the last of the Cloptons died in 1661. That bath is huge. If you touch it, I feel Marble. cold. Look at them toilets. See? They're actually blinking off. Wow, look. This is a bit What's it for? Oh, it's sick. This is like a proper Essex bathroom. Oh, nice. We've never been here before. What's that piece of music? I'm not sure. I recognise it. Yeah, I was trying to learn to play the piano, but it wasn't quite musical. Well, it was all about money in those days, yeah. wasn't it? So you're all kind of being shown off so to the world. So those women yes. that were there, they were supposed to be pretending to be the last owners of the house, yes. the Victorian yes. family. Something very um, primeval. Worldly about peacocks, isn't it? They're, They're certainly ones. very vocal. Sounds like bark, isn't it? But it ain't. <laughs> Is it fossil? It's stone, look. But it looks like it's a big fossil of a, tr of a tree. tree.
this is the mud version, of course, I can keep going all the time. Wire. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Beautiful. Oh, I can feel him breathing on me. When World War II broke out, the hall was requisitioned as a major army transit camp. Many troops involved in the D-Day landings assembled here. The present owner, Patrick Phillips, bought the hall in 1970, and when no one else was prepared to take it on, and has made extensive improvements to what was a neglected estate. Throughout the summer, special theme days are held at the hall, including the one on the video, which was entitled Kentwell Through the Ages, which includes medieval, Tudor, Victorian. In fact, the Victorian era really is when the home was last in its fully staffed glory, and uh, right up until World War II. It's strange inside, isn't it? Because it looks much more authentic from the outside than it does from the inside. It's a bit of a mishmash. Yeah, there's a lot of Chinese rooms that have got random bits of furniture. Well, that's what it, the whole house is like that. It's just random it's things It's not consistent. Put the first together. bit is beautiful. There's a lovely kitchen with all the smoke, with the cooking. Beautiful. But then you go around and it's a bit bizarre. It's a bit like a, an antiques fair. Yeah. 